Hello everyone, a very welcome to Vyas Edification Kota. So today we are going to start with a new chapter of class 11th that is chapter number 2nd biological classification. And in this session we are going to discuss each and every question in detail here which is given in your NCRT textbook. So the chapter name as we have already discussed that is biological classification. This is a chapter, second chapter from your NCRT and we have total 12 questions in it and we are going to discuss each and every question here. So we have first question, very first question of this chapter on the screen that is discuss how classification system have undergone several changes over a time, over a period of time. So first of all, the classification system have undergone several changes over a period of time. First of all, if we talk about the classification system, the classification system, yes, it has been changed over a period of time and the classification system for the very first time was introduced by a scientist named as Aristotle. So Aristotle was the first scientist who introduced classification. What he does, he actually classified the plants into th three categories such as herbs, shrubs and trees. He also classified animals on the basis of presence or absence of red blood cells. But the system of classification failed because this system of classification given by a scientist Aristotle could not classify all the organisms that were known. So this classification system has been failed. Therefore, a new scientist, another scientist has came named as Linnaeus. He classified the organisms. He classified the organisms into two categories such as uh, kingdom Animalia and kingdom Plantae. So he gave, Linnaeus gave us a two kingdom system of classification in which he classified the organisms, he classified the organisms and put the plants into kingdom plantae and put the uh, animals into kingdom animalia. This system of classification, the two uh, kingdom system of classification was also failed because this system of classification could not differentiate between the multicellular and unicellular organisms also could not differentiate between eukaryotic and prokaryotic organisms. Then finally we have a new system of classification which is also followed now and a new scientist named as R.H. Whittaker was proposed. He proposed a system he proposed a five kingdom system of classification. He classified all the organisms into five categories. He made the classification easy and he classified the organisms on the basis of some characteristic features such as presence of cell wall, mode of nutrition, habitat, etc. So all these were the characteristic features on which he classified the different kind of organisms into different categories and he classified all the organisms into five kingdom, five categories or big groups and he named all these five categories as kingdom monera, kingdom protesta, kingdom fungi, kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. So we have a five, king, five kingdom system of classification which was proposed or introduced by a scientist named as R. H. Whittaker. So this is how over a period of time, several changes has been made into the system of classification. So this is answer and we are going to write the answer here that first of all, there are several changes has been made in classification system, in classification 
as we are talking about the classification system changes classification system over a period of time over a period of time of course yes because at the early time we had only a two kingdom classification then now at present we follow or we have the advanced type of classification that is a five kingdom system of classification so the first classification system was given by a scientist known, named as aristotle all right he classified he classified plants into three categories that is herbs shrubs and trees he classified all the plants into three categories that is herbs shrubs and trees he also classified he also classified animals into two categories one group which is having all the animals with no red blood cells and another group of animal which is having all the animals with the red blood cells so he classified animals on the basis of presence on the basis of presence or absence of red blood cells in them all right but the system of classification is failed was failed this is failed why this is failed because he could not differentiate the all uh, organisms or he could not able to put all other organisms available or present uh, at that time into different categories so the system of classification given by aristotle has been failed then a second scientist came into the system of classification he introduced a two kingdom system of classification and the scientist name is linnaeus he proposed two kingdom system classification all right so linnaeus came and he proposed a two kingdom system of classification and what he did he actually classified all the animals and plants he classified all the organisms he made two groups and he classified all the plants and an, uh, animals into two groups and he proposed two kingdoms that is kingdom kingdom plantae he introduced kingdom plantae and he also introduced kingdom animalia this system of classification was also failed because this system was unable to differentiate between multicellular multicellular and unicellular organisms and multicellular unicellular organism and eukaryotes and prokaryotic organisms so this classification system was also failed then a scientist named as r h whitaker r h whitaker has came and he introduced a five kingdom five kingdom system of classification of classification he actually classified all the organisms into 
five different categories, five different kingdoms on the basis of some fundamental or characteristic features such as presence of cell wall, mode of nutrition, etc. So he chose some characteristics such as mode of nutrition, mode of nutrition, all right, then organization cellular organization or body organization we can say this was also a criteria to classify all the organisms into different categories organization then also presence of cell wall so he classified all the organisms into different categories on the basis of these some characteristic features and he gave five kingdom kingdoms that is kingdom Monera, Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. So this is a five kingdom system of classification which includes the five categories of five kingdoms separate inside which or into which the different kind of animals or different kind of plants and different kind of organisms are placed into these categories so we have finally five kingdoms that is kingdom monera kingdom protesta kingdom fungi kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia this is known as five kingdom system of classification which was proposed or introduced by a scientist named as R.H. Whittaker. In the recent time we also, right now we also fo uh, follow this five uh, kingdom system of classification. This is the most accepted system of classification given by R.H. Whittaker till now. So this is a complete solution of question number one here and we can see where the, there are several changes which have been made into the system of classification. So this is a complete solution.